Hello everyone. I hope you can recognize the staircase from our wiki page. This is a very special staircase in Amsterdam uh, that reminds me often about, um, about what we're doing in this last week of the program, uh, professional development and how you can continue uh, with, with that. Uh, so I'd like to share a couple of points with you on this. First thing, and that's what the staircase is about, uh, taking those first steps is very important, and, and all of you have done that in participating in this program. I've been very impressed, especially also by the new teachers who are just starting out as educators and have shared some great ideas with, uh, with us. I would say just keep on doing that. I think the first point, uh, especially for ones who are just starting teaching, is, and, and also for the more experienced ones like myself, uh, is um, uh, use your mistakes in the classroom. You can really learn from that. That's experiential. You can, uh, you can turn those mistakes, don't worry about them, uh, analyze them and see if you can turn them into something uh, which really contributes and adds value to the learning process. So that's one point. Um, a second point is what we can learn from others. There is so much out there. There are, there are so many great educators um, that we can learn from. We can learn from our colleagues. We can learn from mentors. We can actually learn from uh, educators further afield. So that could be a colleague or a teacher in your school, but it could also be someone that uh, you've met through uh, one of the social uh, communities on the web. I'd just like to sort of give you a little tip. Uh, a very, very nice book in connection with this last week is from the Delta series uh, the Developing Teacher by, I hope you can see that, The Developing Teacher by Duncan Ford. Very, very interesting because he talks about development as a teacher, but also about the different circles. We and the students, uh, we as teachers, and the school, we as teachers, and the community. I think that's very, very relevant. And we've actually been sharing as a community already you could say, in a, even though it's only for five weeks, we have started a community. Um, if we look a little, little bit further afield, uh, you've already noticed we come from IOTEFL and BSIC, the Business English uh, Special Interest Group of IOTEFL. Uh, we've got lots of things that we can share with you there, and I'm quite sure that others in the team will say something about that too. And of course you have TESOL, uh, which... Uh, EVO is very much part of. So two great networks that uh, make it um, easy for you to um, learn and connect with others. A final and a third point, I think it's also important to share with others. That's very much part of this. We've been actually learning from you, our team, over the past few weeks. Um, but you can actually also, uh, you can actually use that and go a little bit further. Uh, for example, by writing a blog, some of you already do that, or publishing. Don't be afraid to go forward and uh, propose to write an article and actually also present. Uh, that is a very good way, a kind of a testing ground to find uh, your ideas and activities in the classroom how they can work. So these are three points, uh, very, very simple ones that I think are relevant. But I must say again, you're doing great, a great job if you look over the recent weeks. A final thing is, I'm bringing back to the staircase now, it's very, very um, important uh, the outside, what happens outside the classroom. The more you bring that in, to the classroom, in, in my view, the better. If you can make connections with the lives of your students and with your own life and make that didactically relevant, 
that's important. So I'm going to end this short video with just a view of where we are because this staircase is in the new film museum in Amsterdam. So I'm going to take you with a final view and show you where we are. We're actually in a beautiful building on the waterfront. So these are the final images. Thank you.